Hi, Hogzilla here again. Today we will be playing a classic, Dino Park Tycoon. I know personally I remember this game from elementary school growing up. This was the game everyone wanted to play and we only had one or two copies of it. Um, but it was a very popular game to, uh, to play in the computer lab. A little history on the game. It was developed by Manley and Associates in 1993 and published by MECC. So MECC is the Minnesota Education Computing Corporation. And they made a lot of popular games uh, I can remember from my day. Um, Oregon Trail, uh, another one I remember that came on the five and a quarter inch floppy disks. They also did Amazon Trail, uh, Number Munchers, Word Munchers, was a, a couple other ones. Uh, but they had a whole list of games, and they actually, uh, they stayed in business until uh, 1999 when they were bought by SoftKey. And then SoftKey was eventually uh, purchased by Mattel. And so SoftKey really isn't in business uh, anymore as it was really a bad par partnership between Mattel and SoftKey. Um, but Oregon Trail and Dino Park Tycoon were definitely uh, two of the uh, more popular games uh, that they came out with in their time. So... What we're going to do here is um, we are going to start a new game. And at the start of every new game, um, you have a $5,000 loan that needs to be uh, repaid monthly. I like this game because it is actually very easy to pick up and go. And it is extremely educational in that same uh, retrospect. You could still have fun, buy the dinosaurs, and there's enough like kidsy entertainment value for this game. But it still shows you how to make decisions, cause and effect, business skills with money, as you can see here. So let's go ahead and get started here. So we have uh, six kind of areas you can go to plus the park itself. And then there's a shopping cart area. Um, I'll talk briefly about the shopping cart area since I'm here already. But you see how your icon's a peanut? And this dinosaur kind of keeps poking his head out. If you actually, let's see if we can catch him here can feed him a peanut you can see that your uh, starting money of five thousand dollars went up by one so it's a very slow way of making money but that's not what we're going to do here today what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and buy some real estate I've tried all of these. They're all pretty equal. There isn't really one that stands out more than the other. But I'll just pick March for the um, purpose of this demo. Another thing I like about this game is there's always like some kind of entertainment value. So now if I like click on planes, his head will go down and the little, I think this is a dog, will take off if you click on desert. So let's go ahead and buy that. Got a number of plots of land that you could buy. I always like to buy starting on the right and work my way left. General store. Just another great layout. It's simple, but still entertaining. Um, another thing I like is this uh, dinosaur up here will kind of give you hints if you're kind of on the right path or not. Uh, he'll either make a frowny or a shocked face if you're not on the right path, or a smiley face if it's a, the right idea. So let's go ahead 
I haven't seen him yet. I know he made a face before when I was at the real estate office, but oh, kind of made a face there. Um, indifferent. But let's go ahead. Um, let's check out. You got a food stand, gift stand, restrooms, and parking lot. This will get you some more money. These are so the guests have some place to rest and go to the bathroom. And then parking lot uh, increases the number of visitors you can have. Advertising, pretty basic like any other game. And then here on the gift offer, every time you spend at least $10,000, you get the bonus item that is listed here. So you'll see the first one after we buy our first parking lot. Uh, later, once we've made a little money. So let's go ahead and get our wood fence. And buy that. Let's hire an employee. We'll just start out with a tour guide. But obviously here we have maintenance. Takes care of the fencing. Veterinarian, make sure that the uh, dinosaurs you buy are eating properly and not uh, eating themselves overeaten. And security, make sure there's no vandalization. Concessions, they will run the gift shop and the food stand. And manager is to manage all the employees. There are cases where employees will leave if there's not proper management at the uh, park. Another reason they might leave is if you have run out of money and you can't pay them, then they'll leave. But since there's really no fee for hiring besides their salary, you could just hire them back. But then it kind of, kind of comes this circular hire, hire, fire, hire, fire, or hire, quit, hire, quit. So let's go ahead and buy our dinosaur. Um, another great simple layout. It's educational and still kind of whimsically fun. So you can click on any dinosaur, click on the question mark. You get this nice layout of a, uh, what the dinosaur looked like, their name, their era, what they eat, which we'll get to here in a minute how big they are, their weight, and what climate they like to stay in. Well, this one's in the plains. We don't want that. Here's one that's in the marsh, but I do not think that I can afford it. Plus, he has three units per week of vegetation, which is a lot, actually, on this Ankylosaurus. I instead want, I think this... Enter, um two two vegetation units per week, but that's probably the best we can get. Uh, there are some desert ones that only do one, but I think it's this one here is desert, and he'll do one. But let's go ahead and buy this dinosaur. Nice little uh, cart comes over, takes the egg, and you put it in the appropriate pen. As you can see, there's a nice variety of dinosaurs, including the uh, T-Rex, but he's in the plains. He takes a lot of uh, um, food to keep him from going crazy and escaping. And then there's the, uh, the Vegasaurus. Uh, he likes room service and air conditioning. Uh, whenever um, you select this dinosaur and click buy if you can afford it, actually the cart will come over and it'll stop like right about here. And the egg will drop to the floor. I can't remember if you get your money back or not, but uh, you can't really have a Vegasaurus. It's kind of a little, uh, how do you say, red herring thrown into the game. But let's go ahead and 
get to our dinosaur food. So what I like to do here, and why I like selecting dinosaurs that do vegetation over meat, is you could select, get some, get some vegetation in there, but then you can grow your own plant life under seeds. But first what we're going to do is we're going to get this fly. Another little whimsical part is, as you can see, I selected seeds and I squished the fly. We'll do that again in case you didn't catch it here. But that fly should... Uh... Should get that fly to come down here. And come back here. Squished. Just another, like, whimsical thing of the game. Um, I'm buying seeds right now because they can um, turn into plants. Plant food. So, what I'm doing right now is buying as much $1 seed as possible. I'm going to buy some flower seeds as much as I can. This should I notice this is a glitch in the game that it should stop you at 999 but it lets you go over a thousand sometimes but then if you go out and come back it'll be no matter how high you go above it'll be uh, at 999 or below so um, what you can always do is um, you can always cancel out of here with the cancel option um, if you do that, then everything you bought is refunded to your current capital. But we want to buy this, leaving us $3. This is a great layout here. You go to the office, you can go to the bank, pay off anything you want to pay off on your loan. Uh, we'll talk about Guide to Dinosaurs uh, a little bit later. But you can have tickets. Click the pencil to see how many pens you have and how many are unused. It's this dino count area. Staff okay. This will say like you need more um, security. But, um, people are vandalizing the park. Uh, a few more tour guides would be nice. The dinosaurs are overeating by a uh, by a veterinarian. You can do your profit statement concessions how many concessions you have supplies and you can also see supplies here under f number of weeks of food you have oh i missed i missed the click there i was going to go for the one dollar i'm going to go for that here then you can always um retire or quit the game and you can click that, and then that takes you to the high score list if you've uh, made enough money. But the thing we're going to do here, oh, we also have this layout of uh, what dinosaurs are and what pens. Well, what we have here is our general ledger. And it shows what dinosaurs you have and what pens. You can send them to auction to make some money back if you're losing money. Why? Well, what I think we're going to do here is we're going to set everything for five dollars i think i'm gonna make winter 450. they have kind of a seasonal drop off on this game where winter makes less so we'll do four dollars in the winter and everything else is five dollars um, and you'll see that in the graph as it goes up and down here you can see how much your food and gifts how much staff you have and what the profit loss is but now that we have that done we can open up our park um, one other thing I wanted to point out is just kind of a unique thing I really never saw this in in any other games um, up to this point maybe there was a couple I think there was one flying game I can remember from the early 90s uh, that kind of kept real time time and while the temperature is obviously not right at 30 celsius 345 so i am actually recording this at 345 p.m and it's actually correct on uh, the time so kudos to the game 
Um, very simple setup, and I think we are ready to get started. So let's go ahead and open up the park. You can see the cars are all here. We got the police here. I like some of these guests here. Uh, they just kind of randomly walking around. Dinosaurs are animated. You can move left and right, not up and down. But now we're just going to work our way through this first quarter. This first quarter under marsh is kind of rough. Under desert, it's actually okay. Uh, you'll make the money pretty quickly. Let's just see what we have here for food. Got plenty of food. I'm trying to get to 10,000 to expand my parking because I'm only, uh, I only got 13. But we should get some more people here once uh, spring has arrived. So let's just uh, sit here and look at the people coming into the park. I'll admit overall the graphics, they're not too bad. I know that I kind of ripped on the graphics for Deer Hunter 3. That they didn't hold up well, but you're trying to interact with motion objects in that game. Here, you're doing okay. You don't have to really interact with anything here, you just need to look. And I kind of like the retro look. So, let's, okay, end of winter quarter. So now, we should get a little more money, but I'm going to talk about the auction. Um, so you have the opportunity to buy additional dinosaurs for open pens. I don't have any right now, so I'm not going to bid, but you could bid right here. I'm going to just bid because I know somebody else should. But um, I hate you can. I like how the hand goes up in the air like that. Um, just really great. And then you can hit the question mark. Oh, yep, that item Marsh too. I know it was the same dinosaur I had. Um, you could see roughly how much this dinosaur usually goes for. It's about twelve, um, or I should say, how much if you were to buy it yourself. Then it is uh, 1250 You can see we're already kind of getting to that point, but um, looks like it's going to go for 1100 I don't have any pen space anyway. If I had the sound on for this game, you would have actually um, heard the rattling of the cage. Um, as you can see in the background, that one dinosaur head is, uh, you say, claw out. Um, a few other things I wanted to point out, actually, in the auction was the um, you could click on each person. I'll try and do that next auction here. Right now, we need to get out here and get this parking lot. This is one of those games that I like because there's always something to do and something that could uh, happen. Uh, other games like Ski Resort Tycoon and Golf Tycoon, um, you just keep building money up and you just got to wait. Here, staff members can get sick or the park can get shut down for inspection um, at random moments. Usually, as you get more money, once you get above 10000 does that stuff happen? That's why I was so um, Johnny on the spot to buy that parking lot right away. As you can see, we got our tiki torches, as I alluded to before. And what will I get this time? I will get Plant Life. So let's go ahead and buy the next parking lot. And you can see little plants have now, and trees have appeared. I'm almost sure these will get bigger over time, over the years. Uh, but now you can see my parking lot is uh, blacktop. Next level should be with lines. As you can see, now that we're into spring and nearing summer, we can um, see the money's coming in a lot quicker. So now let's go ahead and buy some restrooms. I forgot what the next thing was, but we'll notice it right away here. 
Oh yeah, the little lava fountain deal. Uh, but you can see up here in the corner is our uh, restrooms. This is the end of the spring quarter. Um, other things I wanted to point out in the auction is you can click each one of these people down here and they got a nice little um, write up on them. Uh, I always remember this one from school, how they always remarked that this person never seemed to, to bid. Well, yeah, because he just likes to sit there. Uh, richest person. We have the South American rancher and animal trainer. Tours dinosaur trope worldwide. Headlines Las Vegas. We have the guy with the derby hat on. Uh, Havlin... Nephalysis, closest dinosaur park uh, competitor just down the road, shrewd businessman. Oop, I clicked on the wrong one there. Sandy McAllister is a doctor. And then we have Fritz Farflung, genetic engineer working on a secret government project uh, dealing with dinosaur relaxativity. So, there's no dinosaurs we can buy, so let's just get out of here. Uh, let's see what's next to purchase. A beautifully ornate dinosaur centerpiece. So, what we're going to do, we're going to buy the food stand, and then we're going to also buy the concession, or the concession in the uh, gift stand. That should be enough to get me the nice water fountain. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hire a maintenance person. We're going to get our veterinarian. Let's hire two security guards, two concessionaires, and one manager to manage all these people. So now what we want to do is see what our next offer is going to be. It's going to be a huge dinosaur uh, centerpiece. So let's go ahead and buy the food stand. And wait a second here. And now we have the gift stand. So now we got to go over to the um, concessions, hire two more people. I kind of like how they do this little animated thing, and the animated thing kind of goes outside of the window. Um, I'll just back up and show it here again. I just think that's nice. Um, this game uh, is really held up over time uh, really well in my opinion we need to see how we're doing on food okay we got plenty of food because we have plenty of seed so let's go ahead and buy the new food stand and oh took a hit there we're getting close to the quarter I'm a little worried there we go and now we have the carousel So now what I want to do is start buying up some more real estate. I want to buy up as much as humanly possible here because I am going to start cementing in all these plots of land. And get the, the last item. Well, we did get the carousel. I thought we didn't get the carousel yet, but there was actually a bigger dinosaur fountain here. I should have probably hopped out here, but... That's okay. Um, we'll just uh, proceed on with the game. So let's go ahead and buy um, I don't know. Maybe I just go with this and see if there's a good dinosaur at the auction. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Cory Thorsorus, part of my pronunciations, but I'm not going to bid on this one. There's usually um, three dinosaurs. There's always at least one minimum, up to three, or how many open pens you have, up to three. So... Let's go ahead and just wait. Here I referenced the um, dinosaur. If you look back here, they have, um, have him rattling the cage. I also like the eyes looking. 
I mean, it's just a great game. Um, I just know that it was always a fight to play this game. I'm trying to remember, was it even on the IBM PC? I know there was stuff like gizmos and gadgets on that one, but this is a desert one. We're going to want to skip this one, too, even though he's coming in at a pretty reasonable rate to start. But I remember it playing that Number Munchers, as I referenced earlier. Uh, that was also another popular game. I know there was another, like, Math Blaster. Not Math... I can't remember the game name, but it was, like, where you had to jump around uh, various levels and slime enemies and then um, solve puzzles. And the funny thing was is somebody figured out how you could set up the game where you didn't have to solve the puzzles. You just had to get the na uh, numbers and then go and get to the end of the level. Okay, no dinosaurs there today. Um, so let's go ahead and cement the areas here. Now that we're in fall, let's go ahead and take a look at ticket sales. You can see we're up to the 4,800 level. We're starting to tail off just a little bit. Oh, we got to go and get more concession people here. So let's go ahead and hire a few more concession people. And now we can go back and buy some more fencing. Fencing, fencing. And the reason I'm doing that is once you buy cement fences for every pen, then uh, the grounds will go from dirt to cement. If you do all chain link fence, it'll actually go to... to um, blacktop or I should say now if one pen breaks out then it'll be blacktop also up oh, we're at blacktop right now I forgot how many pens you got to have before it turns into blacktop but as you can see here now I got a bigger entrance let's just Go ahead. We got to check on our food situation, too. I should get a warning here. I probably don't have enough money to make payroll, but we should be okay. Okay, we got we got plenty of seeds. We just need to buy, or plants. We just need to buy more seed, which is pretty uh, inexpensive at this point. At this point, I'm just going to buy as much seed as I can um, buy, or it'll allow me to buy. Even these tree seedlings. And then I'm going to start looking at putting dinosaurs in these other pens. Okay, we're at the end of the quarter because it turned red on me. I want to buy. Annual tax was 5000 how did we do on tickets? What usually happens is I'll now start like up here and I'm going to dip off. So I got to be careful. I don't want to actually buy anything at this point. I want to see how tickets are going to go. Um, I, I always seem to back myself in a corner for uh, winter. You can see we kind of up and down, up and down as we kind of kept buying stuff. We spent 137000 and we still made a profit here. So let's go ahead. Unless there's like a really cheap dinosaur. This is definitely not one to buy. Hopefully this auction goes quick for this first one. We'll see what the second one brings. But I don't want to spend more than 1000 or 1100 on any dinosaur if we can. Um, we're going to probably look at the uh, Pentasaurus, the Stegosaurus... 
uh, another one of the same dinosaur we have right now. I'm trying to remember what else is kind of in that marsh area. Uh, sometimes this can be long if it's dinosaurs that you don't want. Like, this obviously isn't marsh, so I'm not going to bid on it. Um, I know this is probably teaching kids that you need to buy dinosaurs for that kind of climate. Uh, but once you kind of get past that point, they that they understand that there's no point in uh, making people wait. You can almost do like a next auction button or next dinosaur. Here we go. Yes. Let's go ahead and bid with my little uh, puffy hand, I guess. We'll keep going until 1,200. Oh, 1,000. Oh, that'll be good. That's a good deal. We'll have saved a whopping $200. Let's go ahead and I said Triceratops. I wonder how does a Triceratops? Whoops. Kind of getting click click happy all their plane. Their planes anyway. Yeah, this is the other one I might get at some point, but I want to just make my way through this winter time. Uh, this is, could be a this could be a rough go of it in the winter. As you can see, I have all the pens. I have the cement area. Not exactly sure why the food area. This was always a great debate in elementary school. Why the food area is over here and not over in this area, like in the intro picture, if you noticed. Uh, one other thing I need to do is pay off my loan, but I don't want to do that right now just because we are taking a pretty tough hit right now I, I always seem to struggle in the winters I don't know if I need to lower my ticket price even further but I always take a big hit here just got to make it through this this three month time frame we're almost through it here I like how you can click on the date and it tells you what the uh, or the calendar and what date it is. Uh, if we can get through this, make some money, go and um, go to the, the employment department, hire those people back, then we're gonna go and pay off our loan. But first, we gotta get through this. This always just seems to just break my back. See how the money just goes down to nothing. I could probably do like advertisement and I think that's what the game wants you to do is put some money into advertisement to kind of boost it up. I'll have to remember that for next time. But here we go. Now we're into spring. Should be making our money back here. So let's go ahead and get our concession tiers. Security. We'll get another tour guide. We're doing okay on food. Let's go ahead and pay our loan back. Your loan is now paid in full. In hindsight, 5000 seems like a lot when you start this game. But then once you kind of get going, I can get into, you know, the hundreds of thousands. And 5000 ain't a lot. Let's see how our staff is doing. We're kind of low on maintenance, people. Okay, I can, I can uh, see that. So let's go ahead and put a couple maintenance people here. We need more security. I don't know. I might go with this radio ad actually once we get that. Um, I know I don't have the sound on, but this game actually has great sound, um, great music, great sounds uh, for the game and for its time. We're talking, uh, what, 1993 for this game? Um, at least for the MS-DOS version. I know they came out with like a multiplayer later. And uh, 
a Windows version. Let's go ahead and buy radio. Oh man. Let's just give it a second here. We'll get out of this. Money ain't rebounding as hard as I want, but at least it's going up on the guy. I don't have enough. As you can see there, um, let's just make sure we need at least one more concession here. I think we're good enough for now. Let's uh, build up a little bit of money. Oh, man. Then he escaped. Um, it's not going as well as I was hoping. But this is actually a very basic gameplay here. Um, one other thing I wanted to call out was this guide to dinosaurs. I think this is the great educational aspect of the game. So what we have here is well, what are dinosaurs? You can follow through. They have eggs and shells. They lived on land. They learn to walk upright. Dinosaurs through the ages. It shows how the continents, you can see like North America here. Here's Africa, South America, where these dinosaurs kind of lived during each kind of period. Evolutionary tree, another great educational tool. Uh, I think it's not like it's in your face educational, but it's there and it's still fun for kids. Even to this day, in my opinion, you could put kids in front of this game and I think they would enjoy it. Here we have different types of dinosaurs. Sizes of dinosaurs. I thought this was a great graph growing up. You had the large, the conductor, then this little dinosaur the Brachiosaurus 1800 pounds I mean wow that's a lot um, but then you had this Camposogathurus at a uh, two feet high reconstruction of a skeletal dinosaur I like this like animated video of a theory of a meteor hitting the earth and changing the atmosphere. Um, I believe at the time they really hadn't officially uh, surveyed the crater down by Mexico at the time. So there was also this other theory that it grew too cold for the dinos and that was it for them. But I'm thinking that it, there's more consensus now than even in 1993 that it was the crater um, that caused all the, the vegetation to die out and the dinosaurs to go with it, at least in my opinion. And then we have about dinosaurs. You can click any dinosaur here and you um, get their info. So I think that's a great part of this game with the educational opportunity. Um, so let's go ahead. And I just don't think I get in the money. I did have, um, when I was testing out this game ahead of this video, I was getting well into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Ooh, here we go. Now we're starting to take off. Uh, let's go ahead and hire our concessioneers back. Security. Okay, I think we're making our money back here. Let's go ahead and buy this dinosaur. Oh, why are you giving me that message? We can put him there. We can buy this dinosaur. We'll put that dinosaur there. 
Stegosaurus. We'll put that one there. And what I think I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to build up some money to account for... Oh, man, and I just bought that thing. Um... But I'm going to build up some money for when winter occurs, and it seems like we take a hit. I might even lower my prices a little more and buy some advertising. But let's go ahead and go a little bit more here. I um, was able to recover from this. Um, how much food do we got? We got plenty of food. We got plenty of seedlings, but we're going to top off on the seedlings. Just because um, I always want to keep a, a healthy supply of plants for the dinosaurs. So let's go ahead and... I normally would probably buy other plants for the dinos, but I just uh, want to make sure I have enough money here for winter. What's going to happen here now is you're going to start getting things like the park needs to close for a week um, due to dinosaur inspection or food inspection so you won't have concessions for a week. Oh, the tour guide had to call in sick because his kid is sick or... Or your manager has the flu. And it's just another random element. Or at least I think it's a random element. I, I have a hunch it has something to do with the amount of money you have to kind of keep you in line. Similar to like Airline Tycoon. Uh, another game. I know I put out a video that's not narrative. But I would like to put one out that's a narrative uh, walkthrough. And they have that emissions uh, standards that kind of keeps your money in line. So let's go ahead. Oh, I always like looking. Usually this one will start walking here at some point. But of course, because I'm talking about it, he won't start walking. And of course he escaped. So let's go ahead, we'll spend the money on that, buy that, but we're not going to put another dinosaur in there. I am going to save up my money for winter. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to lay off a bunch of employees and if I see the money really going into the tank. But what I'm trying to do um, is build up as much money as possible through ticket sales. Let's see, we're already tailing off. This should be like probably like four fifty, and then this can actually be like six dollars. I think that's what we're gonna do. We should get a tax message here. We're on December twenty second. Which means we should be getting a tax message here any second. Oh, I took a big hit on taxes. Um, but let's go ahead and make this three fifty. We'll make this four fifty. We'll make this six dollars and this four fifty. Let's go ahead and buy advertising. So we're at about 57 now. I don't know if I want to nah, buy anything at auction. I'm just trying to keep this park together. I had a um, manager called in sick with the measles. We'll be back to work in a week. Uh, so that has like an overall impact to your staff in the park. Uh, some of the guests I want to point out is this person right here with the sparklers on his head, which I'm not sure. This looks like a police officer. 
Another thing I like, but you didn't see so much here, was the cars backing out and coming in. When there's not many people in the park, this parking lot might be half full, or the cars might be pulling out. Just another thing I like about this game. They really paid attention to the detail for a game for 1993. Um, as you can see, I am taking a hit right now. Let's go ahead and get rid of a bunch of concessioners. We'll get rid of one security. We'll get rid of one tour guide. Oh, well, we at least want one tour guide. And let's see if we can uh, survive this. But what I think, um, I think that covers the basic walkthrough of Dino Park Tycoon. I know there's uh, many videos out there on this game, and this is just one more with my opinions. Um, what you do is when you're done with this game is you click this businesses um, well if you want to save the game you click this button here and have the option to save else you can do businesses bought or sold are you sure you want to sell your park we'll just say um, I made the top 10 list I am Hogziller press enter and as you can see a couple tests were above it as I played a little more and a little less. Make sure this game still worked. But you can see I made 88,346, which puts me in third. This one I played a lot longer. I think I played for a couple hours at least. And that's why it's 192. But that is Dino Park Tycoon. If you like what you saw in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to share your experiences of playing this game in school or out of school, go ahead and leave a comment and please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. Bye.